Hey everyone, so today we will be going over the BLK360 scanner, the LiDAR scanner, and how to use it in the field. So first things first, you are going to want to walk through the site and familiarize yourself with the location and make sure you're aware of any dangerous conditions or obstacles that may prevent or delay scanning. Next, set up the carrying case on a flat, stable surface. Open the contents and make sure that there are no damages and that you have received the expected components of your BLK360 hardware rental package. Step number three, completely unfold the tripod and adjust until level. Four, attach the provided tripod adapter to the tripod and secure it. Five, carefully remove the BLK360 from the protective case and firmly secure it to the tripod adapter. Insert one of the provided batteries to the BLK360 device. Six, Turn on by pressing the power button located on the BLK360 device. The BLK360 will begin to calibrate for approximately 30 seconds. Once this process is complete, the yellow flashing lights turns to solid green. You may start scanning your first point at the entrance of the site by pressing the power button quickly. The ring will flash green before turning yellow and begin scanning. Want to scan like a pro? Take these into consideration. Plan your scan points that have a maximum visibility and avoid obstacles that distort data such as mirrors and windows. Minimal interference means more accurate scans. Be efficient with your point locations. As always, you will need to have a clear line of sight to accurately record the data from one point to the next. In more open areas, you may try to increase the distance between points to maintain efficiency. In closed quarter areas with higher density information, you may want to reduce the distance of the plotted points to accurately collect data. Optimum scanning range is two to five meters when possible. Doorways must always be scanned on either side of the door jam, sometimes between as well. Your final scan point may connect to your first scan point. Usually this only occurs if the space is larger and it requires you to backtrack to collecting any missing data. If your battery dies, turn the device off completely by holding the power button until the yellow ring stops flashing before swapping out the dead battery for the charged battery. Step number eight. You have now scanned your first point and you are ready to break down the equipment. Turn off the BLK360, remove the battery, and stow in the carrying case. Do not store the battery inside of the scanner. Double check to make sure all of the equipment you were provided is packed away neatly. Perform the final walkthrough on the site and leave it in the same condition that you have arrived. Disclaimer, cameras and included equipment are delicate instruments. Handle with care, do not expose to harsh climate conditions such as excess moisture or heat. Congratulations, you are now ready to scan using the BLK360 system.